three. Hello, everybody. And this is Stacy from The Advisor. Today, I'm very excited because we have a very special guest back with us. It's Amy Hubbard. And she is a hypnotist. And she also is certified breathwork facilitator. And today, we're going to talk about breath gnosis. And she is going to go really deep into that. And it's an amazing, amazing technique that could actually help you in many areas of your life. So I want to also remind you too, that she also has her podcast on our channel and you check it out because she's done previous podcasts with us and they're just amazing. And especially her one that's on psychedelics, it's a outstanding podcast. So make sure you check her podcast out. She is part of our podcast community and I'm going to give the stage to Amy and she is going to talk about breath gnosis. Awesome. So Amy, glad to have you here, you know, tell us yeah. everybody about yourself, you know, so they know who you are. And yeah. I really want to talk about breath gnosis. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, great. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you. I love having conversations with you. I am a hypnotist, like you said, a breathwork facilitator. And I, I, I guess for many years, I was very like general working with a lot of different kinds of people. And I find myself now really helping women who are more in their prime, right? Who yeah. have been dealing with self-doubt. I help them overcome self-doubt and just tap into that inner wisdom that is inside and I got into this, like I got into actually doing breath work and hypnosis because I was that woman. I found myself wanting to, um, I was ready for a big transformation in my life and I was wanting to move in a different direction. So I actually, um, got vertigo. <laughs> I wasn't moving. I was like, I was in this place where I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And I wasn't able to take the steps. And then to make a very long story short, I started to get vertigo. Like I literally started to have dizziness and just many different, uh, vestibular issues that lasted for a year and a half. Oh, so wow. yeah. And that is one of the biggest things that led me to hypnosis. And it also led me into breath work. I was looking for healing and I had already come from this place. I know that healing comes from within. Like I truly, truly believe that in my heart. I've had that experience in my life and I've seen it with many other people. I believe your body, you as a being, your body is, is pure alchemy. And yeah. I wanted to know because no doctor could help me. And I wanted to know how I could heal myself. Um, one day my husband came to me, he had experienced breath work and, you know, I really wasn't feeling well at all at that time. Like I was experiencing not only the vertigo, but I pretty much had PD PTSD from it too, because I would just be out doing my life. And then all of a sudden it would hit and I would be in this place where I was like, Whoa. So one day he took me to see this woman and we did transformational breath work together. And wow. it was one, I was thinking to myself before I went to the session, I was thinking, I can't breathe like that for an hour. I don't, what is this, you know, this whole thing here? Yeah. But it was incredible what happened. Um, it was a very calm session. It was a beautiful session. And once she got me into the breath, I felt like I hadn't felt in, I don't even know how long. Wow. It's just the most profound, I would say, I would say physically freeing as well as, um, spiritual experience for me. Yeah. There was an electricity in my body that came through. There was this, like, um, this feeling that I'd been having, you know, when you have a lot of anxiety where I was holding it and all these different parts of my body, I felt that open up and begin to release yeah. And because it was so profound, we actually started, my husband and I both started receiving breathwork sessions like monthly. We made sure that we got breathwork every single month with this woman. And it, it was life-changing for me. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So now, uh -huh, go ahead. And then go ahead. Well, I, so breath gnosis is kind of born out of that. It's, it's born out of me becoming a hypnotist and then breath work facilitation and sort of marrying the two together to bring very transformative outcomes for people. 
Wow, that sounds pretty powerful, you know, like, you know, so what are some of the steps that people take, you know, when they're mm -hmm. doing this, like, you know, because it's different, it's different than regular breath work, obviously. So it's a little bit more it's different than just breathing, right? It's like with the breath work is a, is a, is a container in which it's a somatic healing practice is what it is. And yeah. I want to just name a, a few things about it. That's really um, important is that I, I like to believe that breath work is for everybody. And yet, of course, there are some people that wouldn't be the best, it wouldn't be the best fit for. Um, like I don't do uh, deep, heavy breath work sessions on a woman who's, or on someone who's pregnant, right? I just don't do that. It's not the best thing for the baby. Or if somebody has very serious cardiovascular disease, just to name a few different things, very high blood pressure, not great to do breath work. But other than that, we all have the ability to do breath work. Yeah. Um, breath work is really about like when, when I'm doing breath work with people, it is about sitting with them and where they are. It's not, I don't do a certain, there are, you know, there are many different protocols that you can do. There are many different kinds of breaths. Yeah. All of these breaths come from ancient practices. Right. I mean, and this is the healing that's been going on for thousands of years, right? So when we talk about breath work today, it is, it really comes from, it's been here for so long and now we're just bringing it back to the forefront. When I'm working with people, um, especially, you know, when I'm doing the one-on-ones with people, it really just depends on where they are and what's going on with them. Because when we go into different breath patterns, right? We, we, a lot of breath work is these circular breaths could be, for example, in through the nose, out through the mouth. So it's like a, you know, and we can make it really intense or we can make it less intense. What gets to happen is our body can start to release a lot of the stored trauma that we have, you know, that we carry and we don't even know we have it. Yeah. Yeah. So for me as a hypnotist, and as I was learning to, you know, I was receiving hypnosis and then I began doing hypnosis with, with clients, I have always been drawn to healing in the body. And I would find myself through hypnosis, getting them to be more in the body. Yeah. So now I'm actually really just pulling in the breath because what I have found is that you know, whatever the beliefs we carry in our body, if you have a lot of self-doubt, that's a, that's one I love to talk about because that's one that I've, you know, been on a journey with healing for most of my life yeah. and has gotten so much better for me is that we carry that in the body. And so what gets to happen is it's not just a mindset shift as we're healing. Like it's not just the thoughts that we have Yeah. through the breath we can really let ourselves drop in more to the truth of who we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that we can release. And so as you're breathing, you get to start, begin to release those, a lot of those beliefs and just um, stuck energy. I'll even say that, that is in the body. And when you can start to release that safely mm -hmm. in a very safe way, what gets to happen is you also get to tune into more of your resources, your inner resources that you have inside, right. That are already there that you yes. just know you could connect to. Right. I've seen so many people, they, they, they have negative thoughts and negative emotions mm -hmm. and stuck in their heads, in their thoughts, and they just don't know how to release it, let go and move yeah. forward. And I yeah. see that so much with people and so they get stuck in this in this cluster of, of negative emotions and and they can't get themselves out of that mindset where they can just move forward in a more productive manner you know you know what are yeah. some things yes that you so, think so I think that so here's what I feel about that because I know what that feels like and I think that actually a lot of us know at different points in our life we've been through that the portal that I like to go through is through the body. And so a lot of times we're so stuck in our head and maybe it hasn't been safe for us to actually be here now, like be, feel your body. Cause there, there's a lot of different reasons why people get stuck in their heads, right? Yeah. What gets to happen? What's what we can do is we're letting, 
we have a lot of fragmented parts that live inside of us. They're all different parts of us. We have like an entire preschool of, of children, you know, our, <laughs> our inner children. Right. And so yeah. a lot of those parts, they feel disconnected from us and their voices can be the loudest. And that comes up like in our mind, we hear the voice, the inner critic, all the different things, right? What breath work allows us to do is to begin to come into the body come out of the story, which is up here and drop in and experience, experience what's happening in the sensation level, in the body level. Mm. And once we can begin to do that, we can also start to tune in more to the emotional body. Yes. It's not a talking thing. And so as we're breathing, what's happening is we don't even have to fully understand it in our conscious mind. Really? Yeah, you don't have to. Your unconscious mind fully gets it, understands it, and knows exactly what to do. And literally, your unconscious mind is your body, lives in your body, all the things. So as you're breathing, you have this, um, what gets to happen is there's like this, this exchange between the unconscious mind and the body, and it can begin to heal those parts of us that need our attention. Right. You know? And yeah. as that happens, um, we get to connect with that feeling of wholeness, which is the truth of who we are. Wow. I like yeah, it does. It does. You know, a lot of times when I would meditate, I would talk out loud and I would, I would change my breath work and I would, you know, slow down and take deeper breaths and I would change the way I'm breathing, yeah. but I was you know, I would give myself moments to call out and I would, I would kind of call out to the universe and call, you know, call out. And sometimes, you know, things would just come into my mind and positive things and, and yeah. kind of like the light bulb goes off kind of thing. But I never thought about maybe just letting it go and just being quiet and letting my subconscious take over. Well, That's actually what you're, what you're describing there is the, the process of what really gets to happen your intuition, it sounds like was coming online and the things that were coming into your head, they were able to come in because you were, you were in a quiet, calm, still place. Right. But really I feel like, and, and I'll just talk about like nervous system dysregulation because most of us, you know, at one point in another in our lives, but also even if you know how to regulate your nervous system, you still have moments where you're not, you still have times in your life where you're going through things and you feel very highly stressed, right? So when we're really stressed, we don't really know how to regulate our nervous right. system often. And we're, we don't realize it. We're breathing very shallow. We're very, we're not like, we're not really, we're not slowing down. We're not taking the time to just breathe. Right. And we actually, many of us live in that state all the time and we don't even know it. Yeah. When you breathe like that all the time, of course, you're anxious, right? You know, of course you, you feel this anxiety. Yeah. We can begin to heal a lot of that anxiety by breathing in like, for example, you can breathe in and out of the nose and do it very slowly. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, you're already you do it, like do it for like, you know, a few minutes, you're dropping your cortisol levels by 25% just by doing that. Wow. So breath breathing can affect, it can really heal over time. I'm not saying in one session, I'm saying over time, doing breath work, becoming more conscious of the breath, you can regulate your sleep you can release a lot of stress and lower your cortisol levels. You know, you can, can have deeper, more rich spiritual experiences, whatever that means for you. You can um, heal a lot of times things in the body. Yeah. You know, and even depression, that's a big, because when we're constantly bombarded, we're constantly feeling like there's this part of us, we feel maybe like we're not safe. We have, we live in that level of stress all the time that can be massively contributing to depression. Oh, sure. hundred percent. Right. And so breath work really has the power to help with that. And so many people suffer from high cortisol and there are millions of people 
you know, who suffer from depression, you know, and, uh, you know, a lot of people don't take the time out to really think about breathing. And yeah. when you talk about uh, breathnosis, you know, yeah. what are some of the, can you like go a little deeper, dive deeper? Absolutely. Into- yeah. So breathnosis is something that I've, I've come up with that. I mean, obviously it's, you know, it comes from words that are already here, but I just put it together. There was either, I was either going to call it hypno breath, which I also love or breathnosis. Mm-hmm. So it's a combination of hypnosis with breath work. Mm-hmm. It is extremely, extremely powerful. It is, um, what gets to happen. So ordinarily, like before, when I was just doing hypnosis with people, we were going through, it's beautiful. I mean, you go through a journey and I take you into a very relaxing state and all the things, but what gets to happen in breath gnosis is we do that and you're laying down. And then I, before we, you know, before we start, I let every, I let you know, like what kind of breath we're going to be doing. We, there's different kinds of breaths depending on what's going on with you. Okay. It's like somebody who's very, um, wants to move a lot of energy, you know, we'll do a different kind of breath, you know, or we want to be a little bit calmer. We'll do a different kind of breath. We'll do the, like in through the nose, out through the mouth. So, but breath gnosis is really bringing in hypnosis, taking people into that journey state, getting them super relaxed. There's music. So I I bring in music that, which really helps. And we start in with the breath, right? And we, we breathe this rhythmic breath. We just keep breathing it. And of course, while the person is in the state, I'm cueing them, like, depending on what's going on with them and through the experience, what I do is I bring in more hypnosis neuro linguistic programming. And what we do is we go in and get, we get so deep into the unconscious mind, because as you're breathing, you're getting more and more relaxed. The unconscious Mm -hmm. mind really comes up. I mean, have you actually, have you ever experienced a full breath work session, Stacey? I've done breath work, but I've never Mm -hmm. experienced a full breath work session. Okay. So I'm just asking, because if you do the breath for a long enough, what gets to happen is you'll find you, you can be in a very blissed out state. Like you kind of go to this place where you feel like, oh, just very, it's a, it's a great place to be. Right. Yeah. And what, what with breath gnosis, that's what these states, as they come up, you're much more open and your unconscious mind is able to really take in suggestions. Right. And it's right. from that place. I never have the person speaking. I don't do it like that. I let you just relax and be in, but I ask questions for you Mm -hmm. as the experiencer, or if I'm a breathing groups, I'm asking the question, you know, asking the unconscious mind to show what is the, whatever unwind the block, you know, do the things. There's a lot of different um, ways that we get to go in and heal. And it just happens at such a deep level because you're already in that state. Yeah. Yeah. There are times that I've used breath work and it did make me feel like that. You know, when you mm-hmm. do it for a amount of time and yeah. you're really continuing it, and it does take you to a, a different state of mind, like a, where you, you feel, you know, outside yourself. You just, you start to connect, you know, and the connection is, is yeah. very, deep. it seems very deep. It does. And, and I just want to, I want to say a few things about it because it's really important that, you know, first off, everyone's different, number one. And number two, every time, you know, you do breath work, let's say it's a different experience. It's not always the same. It's like, kind of like what we talked about with the psychedelics. Right. Um, so what I always tell people before we go into session is that first, there's a lot of different physical sensations that could come up during the session and it's okay. It is normal. It's normal actually for you to sometimes feel dizzy during the process. It probably won't last, but it could happen. You might feel lobster claws. You might get like muscle cramping. You might feel energy moving, um, many, many different things. And you have the power. You're a divine sovereign being. You get to choose. If it becomes overwhelming, you can always lessen the breath. You can always take a breath. Mm what else comes up though, is all the emotions, like all emotions can come up. Yeah. You feel like laughing. You could feel like crying. You might feel rage. You might feel like you want to scream. 
I always tell people it's all available and it all gets to be here because whatever is coming up, is, is coming up because what's happening is it's moving through your system. I like to, it is moving through your system. And so there's a big energy release that that's happening and um, it's coming up on purpose. It's coming up because it's there to be healed. Right. And yeah. so do you, do you see a lot of people that have repressed emotions? Cause I think we all to a degree, I think every human being sure. has repressed emotions when you do the breath work and you're really yeah. in diagnosis i'm sure people have experienced where they actually their subconscious mind connects with their repressed emotions and they're able to mm -hmm. have that emotions come up and they're actually able to confront them and and yeah. go through the process have you have you experienced that in your career oh yes i've had many people come up at this point and have a lot of emotion what i find with people when they're um doing breath work a lot of times there were crying. There's a lot of tears, but also people laugh. You mm. know, I always help them move the emotions because I'm, I'm very well, I mean, I, it's welcome. Like it's good. It's here, you yeah. know, it's here to be healed. Right. And it gets to move through you. So sometimes making sound and like, you know, kind of letting it out is extremely helpful, shaking and moving the body. I really invite all of that because it wants to move, right. It's been in your nervous system for however long it's been there. And when you let that go, yeah. you are literally making room for more of you, like not, not parts of you that feel disconnected. You know, those parts are all part of you. And when, when you make that space, you just make room to feel more of who you truly are. Right. You know? Yes, it's very emotional. Breath work can be very emotional. I do a lot of breath work all the time now for myself. And I find it's one of the best things I can do for me um, maintenance wise. Like it's like an energy maintenance thing because I work with a lot of people and clients. And so it just helps me clear out, um, you know, energy that I may have taken on from others. You know, it just it helps me release the stress. You can literally breathe it out. How, how much breath work do you think someone should do? Because I think someone should practice breath work each day, whether it be first thing in the morning or before they go to bed. You know, what's your suggestions about someone who really wants to be in a healthy yeah. state? Of what's what should they start to try to make their goals? You know, when it comes to doing breath work, part of their lifestyle. I think doing breath work, even if you do like three minutes every morning and three minutes before you go to bed, that is amazing. That is an incredible maintenance that you're doing for yourself and your body and just to, to release. Um, and then of course, you know, having like, if you want to go deeper and having a longer session, maybe doing a breath work workshop, receiving breath work from somebody where you really get to go deep, you know, and that, that is amazing too, but you can't really do too much of it. I mean, no one's going to, most people are not going to spend an hour a day doing breath work. You don't need to, but just breathing for like three minutes in the morning, three minutes at night, and then um, the more you do it though, Stacey, what gets to happen is for me, it's so funny. I notice myself now, like I really use my breath a lot. I yeah. use it before I make a video. I use it before I got on the podcast. I mean, I just, because it wakes me up, makes me feel really good. Yeah. And it gets me out of my head. Yeah. You know, it's like, I want to be in my heart. You know, I want to be here now in my heart. The head is great. Living in the body is a much more rich experience. Yeah. It just is. Oh, it and, definitely. Right. So breath work really helps you with that. One of the, the most simple things that we can all start to do for ourselves. There's many different, you know, variations of this, but just when you feel yourself stressed, for example, just breathe in at the count of four through your nose. You can, it's like, you know, breathe in four, hold for four, breathe out for, you know, it's just a very simple thing that you can do that immediately it it's like, it wakes up your vagus nerve and your vagus nerve runs your parasympathetic, you know, it's part of the parasympathetic nervous system. You're already calming yourself down. You're already yeah. like dropping in. And the more we do this, the more we learn to be our own alchemist, we learn to, um, regulate our own nervous system. Right. It's not something we were naturally taught per se. <laughs> no, we're, we weren't. And, you know, 
it's just recently that people started to talk more about breath work mm -hmm. and the effect of breath work, you know, um, several years ago, you know, people talked about it a little bit, but I think yeah. lately starting to see people really start to understand the importance of breath work and how effective it can be on the body. Now, when, when people are home and, and people who are, you know, don't know a lot about breath work, are there, besides the, the stress release for four, four seconds, yeah. is there other exercises that people could do to start getting them to, you know, oh, wow. get there's so many, Stacey. There are literally so many. Just, just even having breath awareness is huge. Like, let's say that you don't really feel like you want to, you know, do breath work, but you just stay conscious as you're breathing in and out. That alone already starts to activate a healing state, right? Yeah. One of the, one of the, um, I'll just give you a couple of breaths, which I've already named, but there, there's this breath is one of my favorites. Super easy and simple, and you could say, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to sit down and I'm just going to set an intention and whatever your intention is, you know, and just set that intention and I'm going to breathe into it and, you know, get yourself grounded, connect with your center and just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And you can make it more intense. You can make it less intense. You could, you know? Yeah. If you want to really move some energy, right? Let's say that there's something inside of you. You really want to move it. You want to wake yourself up. Yeah. Um, I love this breath. Okay. So this one is an, it's a double inhale and an exhale, right? So you're going to inhale through the belly, inhale through the heart space, exhale mm -hmm. out. So it goes. <sighs> it's intense. Yeah, it is intense. It takes you very deep, that breath. If you do that breath for a long time, I've had some amazing experiences using that breath. Yeah. My my first breath gnosis session that I received from somebody, oh, I went so deep. He, I, I mean, I really, I went so deep. It was so, I felt amazing. Like I went to, for me in that moment, I know that my unconscious mind actually worked on a lot of things. There were some things that came up that I could tell, but I just told myself, I'm not going to try to figure it out. Like, let's just let the healing happen. I don't need to understand all of it. And that right. was exactly my experience. It really helped me clear out and like bring in on this particular intention that I was focusing on. And it was, it was just amazing. Wow. That is intense. That's very yeah. intense. It amplifies breathing with hypnosis. I feel what I have seen helps amplify the results. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for me, even if I'm not doing breath gnosis with a client, Right. I'm still using breath work in some capacity while we're doing hypnosis. It may not be a full breath work session, but the more that we can breathe, the more healing is going to happen. And it's going to happen in the unconscious mind. It's going to happen in your body, in your nervous system. Yeah. And you're I, going I, to walk away feeling great. Yeah. You do walk away feeling great because I was just about to say like when, you know, when I would do breath work, it would be like small sessions, but you yeah. know, it's just, it was, it was changing. I could, I, I felt more at whole. I felt more connected. I, you could see the changes each and every day, the more consistent I stayed, the better I felt all the way around. Yeah, absolutely. It really, um, it just makes a difference in so many things. I feel like for a lot of us, Every day can be very, they just, people can have very big jobs or careers or entrepreneurs have a lot, you know, all the things, right? And so what, what we're so focused in this life, and I, I am guilty of this as well at times, on what we need to do, 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 that yeah. we, we don't, rem we've got to remember, we get to remember that when we can do these practices, it actually increases our creativity. It increases our mental clarity. That's something I haven't even spoken about yet. Breath work increases your mental clarity. It helps you focus more. So yes. what if you had a little bit of a practice or you had some breath work sessions, right? And you did some healing work to get yourself that mental clarity back that you may haven't felt in quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because you, when you have a dysregulated nervous system, 
you're not at your best. No. Your mm -hmm. immune system doesn't work as well. Definitely not. Yeah. Right? I hundred percent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I am really, really excited because for me, you know, of course, you know, we've talked about psychedelics. I love that. I love hypnosis. So for me, I've got like my three things that I love working with that are, I think are so incredibly powerful. Breath work is, and breath work is so available to everybody. That's yeah. the other thing, you know, you don't have to go away anywhere. <laughs> you can just be right here right now, you know, and it's, it's an ancient, it's ancient healing wisdom that has been with us for, you know, I don't even know how long. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's been here for, for, for thousands of years. You know, mm -hmm. they, a lot of the things we practice now, people don't realize these, these practices have been here for thousands of years. They've mm -hmm. been they've been used and they've been effective and, you know, we continue to use them and, uh, people don't realize, you know, how effective they really are. And, um, you know, I, I've always been a true believer when it comes to breath work, you know, I think breath work is, is, is amazing. And when, you know, I always say to people, 70% of illnesses are caused by stress. So when you relax, and you can really work on reducing the stress in your life. And you could do it through breath work or you could do it through hypnosis because even doing it through hypnosis there, after you learn about hypnosis and you work with somebody, there are yeah. ways techniques you could actually do it at home. You could do the breath work oh, and the yeah. hypnosis. And then you could have such, you know, such beautiful healing effects, you know, for the days that you can't be with your, your hypnosis, you know, yeah. and coach. You know, you can do these things at home and just make it a part of your lifestyle and it could be life changing. It could be completely life changing and how you look at life, how you feel, your health, your spirituality, your connections with the universe, your connection with your higher power, whoever that may be. It's like, it's, it's just a life changing effect. And like you said, at work, it, it changes it because, you know, yeah. it's so stressed at work and, and, you know, mm -hmm. how could you you know, if you, how could you do a good job if you can't focus and you can't have clarity, you know, and I remember I, I did a, a, a speaking uh, event and I brought in a chakra bowl and my, my husband saw me taking it and he thought I was nuts. And mm -hmm. I, I taught them a breathing technique, how they can do this breathing technique in their chair when, when they weren't working on with their patients exactly. and they, and they all did it. And I said, so how does everybody feel? And while they did it, I just played the vibration of the bowl and they just focused on the sound and they did the breathing work and everybody opened their eyes. and like, how does everybody feel? And at the same time, they all screwed out the word good, you know, and they were like shocked how, how much better they felt afterwards. And I bet it shifted the energy of the entire room. Yeah. So I want to actually comment more on that because breath work can completely enhance your vibration. Yeah. It changes your frequency in such a beautiful, in a, in a good way. Like you, you get to vibe. I mean, talk about like, after you breathe, you can sometimes feel your, I can feel myself tingling. You know, I can just feel the energy is just really moving. And breath work is so powerful. For example, like if you did actually have a speaking engagement, and when I say breath work, I don't mean you have to go sit somewhere for an hour and do it. I mean, like, go take a minute, right? Take a couple of minutes and really, ah, ah, you know, and just ah, doing that. And you, as you do that, you're really, you're cleaning out your energy and you are vibing at a higher level. And when we're out there in life doing our thing, right, we want to be high. We want to be vibing at a higher level so that we are, we are in the vibration of the things and the experiences and the feelings that we want to attract and live and all of it. Right. Oh yeah. It's oh, the yeah. most powerful for that. I actually don't know of anything more powerful than breath work for that. Yeah, no, I think, I think breath work could be used in, 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 in numerous ways, you know, um, yeah. Even when people, you know, have t trouble sleeping at night, you do some breath work before you go to bed, you do some stretches and some poses and you, and you change your breath and you do different types of breathing and you could easily, you know, it, it's known to, to help you with, you know, with sleeping, with insomnia, you know, cause you know, basically yeah. what up is that we have all these thoughts in our head and yes. we 
thinking already about what we're going to do tomorrow. And we're thinking about the problems that are occurring in our life, you know, and we can't fall asleep because we're constantly thinking, 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 you know, so if we, you know, or you're on the computer and your, your mind is so stimulated that it takes a while for it to unstimulate. But if you could do breath work and if you could do self-hypnosis on yourself and then yes. close your bed, that could be a very good night's sleep. You know, it can be an amazing sleep and doing it over time, actually, like you were talking about before, what it does is it's releasing over time. You know, there, there is another thing that really comes to the forefront. I'm actually going to, because I think this is really important. It's something that probably is definitely not spoken out in the mainstream media enough, but that is, is that we carry a lot of the trauma from our ancestors that the, the, the fam, the people that come before us. Yes. They've mm -hmm. done studies on it. Um, yeah. They've tested, I mean, sadly, I don't like hearing about animal testing, but they've tested it on mice. They've done very extensive because mice actually have a very similar nervous system, central nervous system that, that we do. Right. And they have found that up to seven generations, the seventh generation was still holding, not necessarily the trauma, but a sensitivity related to that trauma. Wow. That's intense. When yes, it is. And so the more that we can um, heal ourselves, the more that we can release our own stuff, we're yeah. also releasing that, uh, the stuff that came before us. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's very, oh, very yeah. powerful. Yes, 100%. And that's what you want to get out. You want to get out those negative emotions. You want to get out those sensitivities yeah. that are not productive in your life. You want to create the new you. You want to be able to, you know, not be so high strung, not get so nervous, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. to like, and, and when you're not nervous and you're not high strung, you could actually, like you said, have more clarity, think straight, yes. better. And anything that you're doing in life, you could, you could excel and, and reach your, your common, you know, goal, you know, yeah. and, and we're going back to, I'd like to just like go back for a second to, sure. to, and, you know, we were talking about that before the show. And then we talked a little bit during the show, but, you know, so many people in our society suffer from a certain degree of depression, whether it's, uh, you know, because of the environment they live in, whether it's because it's in their DNA, mm -hmm. whether it's manic depression, regular depression, you know, mm -hmm. what the case may be um but they are things people could do to make themselves feel better yeah. and you you know and, and in your field you know how has hypnosis and how has you know breath work helped people mm -hmm. with depression one of the things well I'll, I'll, so many ways so many ways um i've had clients come to me before i was even working with breath through hypnosis and a, a lot of their depression centered on past traumas in their life. And what happened was they weren't able to deal with it in that moment. Right. And so it built over time and it was just a lot of heaviness to carry around, you know? And so when we go in and we open up the unconscious mind and we get to release that, they get to have a new perspective on it. That makes the difference. What yeah. I would say though, with, with breath work is that it is a deeply somatic healing and mm -hmm. It is so profound, like the people feeling depression, a lot of times it, you know, it's for different reasons, Stacey, but a lot of people carry so much, um, so much stress and old stories and things from the past, and they're not able to regulate it. So what the body, it's almost like what the body's saying when you have that, that depression is like, just, it's like, you don't want to move. You, you, you can't really do when you feel that depressed, it's hard to do things right so through the breath, it's so powerful to breathe into healing that because, um, you can, that's a lot of that stuff gets to be released. Like when you release out of the nervous system, again, what gets to happen is the, the more resilient parts of you, the parts of you that know there is a part of you. I'm going to speak to that one part that just knows that you are who you truly are. Yeah. Full, complete, perfect, and safe, right? That part gets to come forth. Your inner leader gets to come forth. You, this is your truth. Yes. All the other things, they're not. And when you have to live in a place where you're being um, like that part, the broken, what feels like is broken, 
is, yeah. is running you. It's of course, it's, it's a, it's a terrible thing to feel. And through the breath, through the breath, mm -hmm. right. We really can, we can start to heal that because we're actually healing it from the nervous system level. So the healing yeah. is from the bottom up. It's not from the top down. Okay. It's the difference. Like with talk therapy, we're telling, we could be telling a story over and over again. And the more we, sometimes it can happen that we yeah. can tell the same story and we just kind of drive it in with breath work. It's so somatic. We're actually going, let's stop talking. Let's close our eyes for a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's drop in and feel where that is in the body. Where is that? What, what is it? Just, just mm -hmm. stay with the sensation as we breathe and we meet it with love and presence and compassion, that's where the healing gets to happen. Right. It just can't always happen from up here because we're always in the, the lounge of why up here, like why, why, why that's not where alchemy exists. Right. You know, yeah. we don't have to know why on everything. We can uh, actually heal ourselves from that somatic level as it, it gets to be recognized, felt, heard, uh, seen. And then we can, we can release it over time. I think that's one of the biggest problems with, with many people, including myself, I would catch myself do it. And I, I would try now, like if I catch myself doing it to undo it real quickly, yeah. but you know, sometimes we do do the why, why and we, yeah. we try to and then we're overanalyzing and then we've wasted all this positive energy yeah. on something that's meaningless you know it's just meaningless does it really matter why you know does it you know it, it's about you and how you feel and how you you know and feeling happy and you want to feel healthy and you want to you want to yeah. live a fulfilling life and and you know the things that that hold you back you know i know it's when i do breath work i i can feel the energies where they're broken and when mm -hmm. you start to and you can yeah. start with those and those areas and then you can feel like you know think about why is that area feel why do i feel funny in that area you know and then yeah. you start about the situations that you're going through and the feelings that you have and then the light bulb goes off and you start making connections and you start realizing why I'm feeling this way and why it's taking a toll on me. And then you can tr figure out ways to undo it. And by breathing and by relaxing, you kind of, yeah. I think it helps. And I think, I think, I, I think that's so true. And I also think that sometimes just just dropping into yourself and feeling that maybe, you know, you feel it in the body and just saying to that feeling, I see you, I hear you, I'm listening to you because until we can do that and meet our own self with that level of love, that unconditional love without the judgment, mm -hmm. it's hard to jump into the happy part <laughs> because we yeah. haven't dealt with what's underneath it. Exactly. So things exactly. like breath work allow us to be in this like multidimensional space, very safe space. When I say multidimensional, I, I don't just mean that like in a spiritual way. I mean, like the yeah. dimension of the body. Sure. The mind is involved. You know, you've got all the different, the emotional body and just be in, be with ourselves in that love. Like you would your child, like your child is upset and they need to just express themselves to you. Yes. You don't, I mean, if you're being a good parent, which, you know, I'm sure you are, right. You don't, you just, just tell me, tell me more. Like, well, what is it? Mm -hmm. You know, let's, let's, okay. I hear how you feel. You know, it's instead of like, cause the, the, the whiness is um, it's actually a way for us to not feel it. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's so fascinating, really, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all the things that we do. Cause it's so much fun to go up into the head. I will admit it. Like I will do a lot of things, a lot of times to avoid my feelings. I'm not, you know, I'm gonna, so I you have to, you know, always remind myself of what I'm talking about. Like, oh, wait a minute. You know, you gotta, you gotta just like feel into it. You know, you just gotta be with it sometimes. And it will, it will move through you when you can do that. Yes, it will. It definitely will. And I always feel like it's always good to start with the heart. You know, sometimes everybody thinks it's the brain, but I always feel like me personally, I always feel like we start from the heart, our emotions and our emotions lead us, you know, to the brain and to the, to the other areas of our, 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 our body. But I always feel like it's really the heart that controls everything in my mind, you know, the way I feel. 
Um, but yeah, I always, I always start first with the, with the heart, the emotion. Yeah. yeah, I do. I love it. I just, for me, a lot of times, absolutely. I mean, I feel so much in my heart. Right. And I think that some, but we can feel it from different places too. Like sometimes for a lot of times when I've been working with clients or even myself, I felt a lot of stuckness and broke the communication. Yes. It's just so you know, you can feel it all the way down, like in the solar plexus between the belly, but you know, there's just, it's endless, right? We can feel, but it's there because it has a message for us. It's there because it's, it wants to tell you something. It wants you to just be with it. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah, it's so amazing. So breath gnosis. Yes. Breath gnosis is the, the combination bringing in the hypnosis, bringing it in with the breath work to create profound, profound change. It's extremely powerful. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to really start, you know, talking about this even more because it's, you know um, yeah, it's, I want to bring it for sure to where the area where I live in and start offering this to people so that they can experience this incredible, incredible modality. It is a credible, incredible experience. And I, I think everyone should really, you know, um, it, you know, try to be open enough. Not everyone's open, but mm. there are a lot of people that are yeah. and willing to try, you know, even, even if you are skeptical, try it, you know, and see, yeah. you know, I've, 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 I've worked with people who are skeptical and I've actually broken them out of that little gray box, you know, because yep. they, they realize like, wow, you know, this is powerful. This is actually, you know, it actually, you know, can help, you know, and, uh, you know, so if you had to take everything we talked about today yeah. and you want to like summarize some of the important mm -hmm. things, what would you like to emphasize about today's conversation? I would just say that breath work is one of the most powerful tools that is available to all of us to begin to heal our parts, to tap into our wholeness, our power, our strength, to really feel at that somatic level who we truly, truly are beyond our stories, beyond our name, beyond all the things yeah. And it's from that place that we get to just resource ourselves and become our most powerful, most creative, happy, peaceful, you know, person, leader, whatever it is that you, you know, that you truly, truly are. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And, you know, where can people find you? So if people, mm -hmm. and also what services do you, you know, most of yes. all, what services do you provide for people? So I am a hypnotist. So I do um, hypnosis. I work with people in different, you know, I have like a three month package that I work with people. I do different things, like depending on what talking to the, the client um, breath gnosis. I absolutely do that. And I offer regular, amazing breath work sessions. So I, um, while I'm a hypnotist, I'm very much somatically oriented. I believe in healing through the body because you get the most powerful, profound, permanent results when you do that. So yeah, for sure. Oh, you can find, I'm sorry. You can find me at I am wholeness.com. And also my Instagram is a great place. It's probably the most updated place. Um, mm. it's, uh, Amy, but that's a M I underscore wholeness. Those are the best places. I love it. This has been amazing. I, I think you really gave some uh, like really great advice today. I think people really have to, you know, try there's mm -hmm. so many ways of breath work and it's, and it's wonderful yeah. when you learn from somebody who is either certified or well-educated in breath work and they can teach you the different ways. Now, eventually in the future, will you do maybe classes online or do you do yes. classes online? Yes. I'm putting that together right now. So I will be offering it so people can experience it, um, wherever you are. And I've, are, I've uh, so that's coming soon. Just keep in touch with me. Actually, if you, um, go to, if you go to Instagram, cause this is the easiest way, uh, you know, AMI underscore wholeness, and you send me a direct message that you, you know, that you heard me through Stacy. I have uh, something I'll send you, which is like a, a mini 11 minute breath work session to help you really like raise your frequency it feels amazing. And it's very helpful. You can do that through there and just keep, I can keep in touch with you that way. 
Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I love it. I think, I think breath work can change a person's life. I really do. And I love hypnosis. I think hypnosis mm. is wonderful. And I think, you know, the two combined is just absolutely phenomenal because we as humans, we are always on the go, 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 go. And we don't give ourselves time to relax, to let go, to breathe, to understand ourselves. There's so many mm -hmm. people out there that don't understand who they are as a person. You take their titles away, you take their labels yeah. away, and they don't know who they are. But, you know, if you take time and you start to relax and you start to do hypnosis and understand who you are, where you came from, why I feel the way I feel, why I act the way I do. And you start really, really, like you said, you know, Amy at wholeness, you know, you yeah. know, yeah. you start to understand yourself at whole, you know, the whole you, yeah. you start to really, you know, can, can you, you start to really understand yourself as a person you start to like yourself because then you have the opportunity to, to change the things you don't like, to accept them and change them. And you, you thrive off the good things. And, and if you continue that cycle of breathing, relaxing, yep. you know, working and going inside you and connecting yourself and being at whole with yourself, you just, start, you keep excelling and excelling and excelling. And you can see it in a person when they are at whole, their personality is much different than someone who is kind of lost in their own soul. Yeah. And they're just, they're, they're trying to figure things out, but they just don't know where to begin. It's yeah. kind of like a with six lanes and you just don't know which lane to turn exactly. on, you know? And so people like yourself are a blessing because mm -hmm show people, you know, ways on how they could start to change their lives and they could start to figure out who they are. And then they could start, you know, building a plateau and start growing kind of like a tree you, you, where you just throw the seeds out and then you start, the plant starts growing and then it blooms into a beautiful, you know, plant or flower at the end. Yeah. That's so what it's all, It know? is. And find and discovering the gifts. Every person on this planet has a gift. Get many gifts. Yes, a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so this has been wonderful. I love when you come on the show. I'm always excited Thank to see you. you. And everybody, I encourage you to see her other episodes. They were phenomenal. And you know, I still have people calling in and and talking about her her episode on on psychedelics. Um, they were just astounding. It was just like people just loved you know what she had to say. So I suggest that you check it out. And uh, again, it's always a pleasure having you here. And I just love when we have our discussions. You just bring so much to the table and you mm -hmm. just are a win of advice. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. You have a great day. Thanks.